Hello, good afternoon everyone. Um, I'm Luke's Rep M, as always, wearing my new Bayern Munich uh, t shirt from, I think it's 2021, 2022. <coughs> um, got that in one of my mystery boxes. Um, just to let you know, I have got more mystery box football shirt content coming soon. I've also started looking into buying fake football shirts just to see what the quality's like to also give you all um, a view, my viewpoint of it and so you can see whether it's worth it because I personally think football shirts, legit football shirts are ridiculously priced at the moment and families cannot afford it um, so I can't afford it really much either so I've, I'm not going to be paying nearly £100 for a Man United top for instance I'd rather just wait until uh, the season ends and get it then even if it's a year old at that point so I don't mind um, so I'll just do the mystery boxes and also, like I said, just looking at places like DH Gate and places like that and just see what the quality's like. And also, um, it gives me some cool football shirts to wear when I'm doing my content. But you're not here for football stuff. You're here specifically for TW2020. Um, sorry. Moving forward, um, starting next week, um, Wednesdays and Saturdays will be TW days where I'll be releasing videos. I listened to, um, sorry, first of all, thank you to the people who gave um, their opinion on my poll um, because I did I did feel like Saturday and Sunday putting TW video after TW video out there um, was probably a bit too much for people. So moving forward, Wednesdays and Saturdays will I will be uploading TW 2020 videos. Um, but yeah, anyway. I'm going to keep this short and sweet, and then in a second, I'll be back with the first show of the episode for the TW. So, right, so we've got our first show coming up now. Um, I have streamlined the roster uh, as much as possible, and after getting a few comments, it did. I was thinking about it for a while, so I've managed to get rid of a lot of people that weren't ever going to wrestle for us um, and what I'm going to do starting moving forward is every show I'll probably do like an eight man or a ten man and we'll try out wrestlers and we'll assess them as we go along and then if they if they haven't if they've got like an in-ring rating less than 60 we just get rid of them because um, that will hopefully streamline the roster and make the finances better I've had to I was minus 95 grand so I've had to do some magic work to get it back up and running ideally I want to be able to be in profit every month like I was doing ages ago. I think once I started up in the production and bringing in better wrestlers, obviously that's when the money for trouble started, but it got us to a point where we figured out what we're going to do. So hopefully I'm going to try and bring in better wrestlers, but like not massive superstars, people like Mark Andrews, for instance, who's been great for us. Um, they're the wrestlers we need to be bringing in really wrestlers that are, not in the big promotions that are really good and obviously eventually they'll leave us for better opportunities but in the meantime we'll make the most of them while we can so anyway let's crack on hopefully no backstage incidents for this show because managed to get rid of a lot of the bad apples i think as well um, so hopefully fingers crossed um celebrating my 40th birthday yesterday and my brother got me a really cool, uh, I think it's vintage from the looking at the label. Um, it's a WrestleMania 6 t-shirt with Hulk Hogan on Warrior. The reason why I think it's vintage is because the label's not like WWE. It's, um, I don't know whether it's that or it might just be like a parody, what they call a parody shirt where they just basically just put a plaster WWE poster on a shirt and that. But yeah, I'll have a look. I'll wear it next time, uh, next week for you. But yeah, it looks pretty cool. And even if it's a, a fake t-shirt, I don't care. Um, it still looks really cool, to be honest. It reminds me of my childhood. I remember absolutely loving watching The Old Warrior and Hulk Hogan as a kid. It's such a shame they end up becoming absolute arseholes as human beings, though, isn't it? But that's, just, that's unfortunately life. A lot of our heroes back then when we were kids end up being not very good people. But anyway, right, let's crack on. So yeah, let's start the... What we're going to do is do a pre-match show. Um, so we'll have Levi Mule, and then we'll have him against right male. That will help, wouldn't it? 
Mayor, like I said, I've really streamlined the roster. We're coming against Frankie Kazarian. Uh, we'll have it 15 minutes. I believe I win. Hopefully Frankie will get, get him to have like a good match. Arn Anderson is the road agent as well. So that's good. Um, I meant to do that as a pre-match show. Pre-match match. Yeah, pre-show match. I apologise. Um, like I said, every because <laughs> I don't do these videos frequently recently, I'm a bit out of place when it comes to talking while I'm playing the game. A bit rusty, so just bear with us. Right. And then what we'll do, we'll do a pre-show interview with Levi Muir. It won't be long before Levi Muir's ready for the, the to be on the actual main show. I'm just giving him a bit of a push on the pre-show for now. Just get, him, get the crowd used to him. So yeah, so that's that. So we'll just do that ahead of that. Right, so then uh, what we're going to do is I've changed my mind about the tag team of Blue Kane and Shea Persa. So they will still be a tag team for now. Eventually, I probably will just have Blue Kane on his own. But yeah, so what we're going to do is Kamikaze... Uh, no, not FCU. Generation next. Pretty deadly. And then we'll have the Avengers. So that's Calvin Tankman again. Uh, he's teamed up with Gringo Loku. I really like Gringo Loku. He's he's such a good wrestler. Very underrated. But a blue cane and shapers win. Uh, referee cannot be a competitor. Okay, who's the ref? Oh, yeah, okay. Right, so that's that one. And then what we'll do is, um, yeah, we'll do the 10 way singles match now. 10 way singles. Uh, and then what we'll do, we'll pick wrestlers that haven't wrestled for us yet. Do male. Uh, we'll, we'll start at the bottom here. Like I said, the roster's are very thin now, so. Tonga Loa. No, Tonga Loa. Toa, Lo Toa Leona, I apologise. Uh, who else hasn't wrestled? Sunjay Dutt hasn't wrestled for us yet. And then Shah Samuels hasn't wrestled for us yet. Shane Mercer hasn't wrestled for us yet. Tommy Mercer hasn't wrestled for us yet. Who else? Have a look. QT Marshall hasn't wrestled for us yet. Neither has Puma King. Uh, I don't know if Miro's wrestled for us. He probably has, but we'll put him in there. Um, Matt Cardona. We'll put him in there because I don't know if he's wrestled for us yet. And then to round it up, we'll have Khan in there. Hopefully we'll find some good workers in this one. 15 minutes, we'll leave it blank. So that's that one. And then how long we got left? 41 minutes. So we've got we gotta do an angle. Um we do Mark Andrews microphone and then who do we put them against? Um have a look. We do Ross Van Eric. We'll do Ross Van Eric. Unfortunately, I couldn't get Marshall Van, uh, Von Eric. I said Van Eric then, didn't I? So we'll just have Ross as a single start. Same with Colton Good. I might just put um, Colton Good and Ross Van, Ross Van Eric. I keep saying Van Eric. Ross Von Eric. We'll put him and Colton Good together and we'll have them as a tag team, I think. But yeah, Mark Andrews, Ross Von Eric. Uh, we'll go 20 minutes as it's the main event. Hopefully, we, and we might not be able to do 20 minutes because we've probably gone over. Mark Andrews, open match. There you go. Oh, um, yeah, there we go. And then we'll do, I know we've already done the angle, so I think that's it really. Um, gone over though, 69 minutes, 65. I don't, we'll have to change the main event to 15. There you go, that's for 15 minutes. So let's just check the booking analysis so we haven't missed anything. Thank you, Sam is furious, but that doesn't matter. 
Um, we will be pen penalised. Um, right, let's have a think. Right, let's knock this much down a bit. No, we want to keep that at 15 minutes because we want to see how they get on. Oh, this is annoying. Uh, right, we're going to have to knock this down, I think. 12 minutes. And then we'll do an angle. We have to do four minutes because that's it. We'll do blue cane, microphone, and then we'll do shaper, so microphone. We'll do that. We'll push this up here. You've got to have really good hand, eye, hand and eye coordination to do this, and I don't have that, unfortunately. Right. So we're all good now. We've, fi we've fixed it. So let's crack on. Uh, pretty much interview. Got Levi Moore, got A, got 31. Um, we did, we, we changed the gimmicks of Moro Renaro and Joey Styles because they were complaining about their gimmick being rubbish. So we just changed them both to blue collar instead of staff member. Match got a 52 rating. Um, Frankie Kassarian, very underrated on here, 52. You'd have thought he'd be way better than that. Um, but yeah, Levi Moore, 45, he's slightly better. Oh, there you go, Levi Moore and Frankie Kazarian have pretty good chemistry, so that's good. Uh, angle with Kamikaze got a 40, and then the match got a 64 rating. Uh, Shape person got a 36, Blue Kane got a 46, I think that's the best evening performance he's done so far, so that's good. Matt Seidel stood out, and then Calvin Tankman with a 77 rating, so that's good. Blue can and Shea Purse have seemed off their game though. Uh, and then the 10 way match, who won? Shah Samuels won. Got a 63 rating. So Shah Samuels got a 73, so that's one to remember. Puma King got a 74. So these two could be good singles wrestlers. We'll put maybe I'll put Shah Samuels versus Mark Andrews in a match at some point, see how they get on. And same with Puma King. I think Puma King and Mark Andrews would have a really good match. Other than that, I think. I mean, Shane Mercer did okay. He'll stay. Uh, Sunjay Duck will probably stay because he's a good road agent. Tommy Mercer's going to go, though. We'll keep QT Marshall for now and Miro, but they do. Miro should be rated better than this. Um, Khan got 55, which isn't too bad. Matt Cardona got 58. Tona, Toa Leona got 40. I need to put Toa Leona and uh, Khan as a tag team. For some reason, they're not a uh, tag team on this day, but I need to fix that for the next one. So maybe we'll push them as a tag team and just um, beat people up for a bit, push them, uh, and then see how it goes from there. And then with the angle for set up the main event, got a 67 rating. Mark Andrews come across well, so that's good. And the main event got a 77 rating. Mark Andrews, as always, with a 90 odd performance. Uh, Ross Van Eric got a 51 rating, and then Ross Van Eric su uh, sustained a broken finger, so that's not good. But yeah, 71 rating overall for the show. We didn't increase the popularity, we only got 109 people, but you know, considering it's the first show of the episode, it's not too bad to be honest. I can't really complain with that one. Uh, hopefully, I'll do a couple of shows for this episode uh, and then. There'll be another episode on the next day on Sunday. And then next week, as I said in the intro, Wednesdays and Saturdays will be TEW 2020. So I'm going to try and keep to that schedule because I keep changing things all the time. And I can imagine it's probably annoying a lot of you people that like watching my TEW stuff. And also thank you to the lovely people who left comments. Uh, I was a bit down on myself the other day and a few people reached out on the comment section and... Um, made me feel a lot better for it. So I really do appreciate that. Thank you. Um, it's nice to know that people do enjoy watching this. So it makes me want to keep going and um, try and keep doing better. I'm hoping the stuff that I'm doing, trying to figure out which wrestlers are good uh, and not, is like making it entertaining for you. If there's any little things that you want me to do to make it better, please let me know in the comments section. Uh, I'm always happy to change things up it means um, making it better for you lot. Uh, at this point, I'm just vamping really. I'm just trying to, there you go. Because it does take a while to process. Uh, Jess wants to pay rise, that's fine. All right, let's just have a quick look at the news items. Yeah, Ross Van Eric. Ross Van Eric is injured. 
So what we'll do here, we'll have a look at the medical quickly. Can't do anything, he's only out for six days, so I need to get rid of Tommy Mercer. I, th I can't remember if there's anybody else, but Tommy Mercer does ring the bell as being terrible. So we'll get rid of him. Yeah, the roster's getting thinner and thinner as we speak. At one point, you might only have, we might only have a roster of 20 men and maybe 15 women or something like that. You might have to just do that, keep the, the cost down. I mean, look, the last show we had, we started with 95 grand before we started that show. We we're down to 27. That cost us 70 grand to run that show. Uh, it's the events that help us. It's the TV show that's costing us. But we've got to keep going because of the fact that if our popularity gets better, the prestige and, and momentum, if it gets better, we can get a better TV deal. So it will help out, helps out financially. But anyway, right, next show is not for another six days. So... I'll be back in a sec with the next part of the episode. Right, we're back. Um, I've got some sad news, everyone. Our main guy, Mark Andrews, um, I tried to get him, see if he would sign a new contract with us because DDT were offering him a contract. So I kind of was like, let's see if he'll stay with us. And he said he's outgrown us. So that made me sad. And then I'll just try to show you, just, I'm just going to show you again. He says, Mark Andrews already made it clear he'll be leaving with when his current contract expires. So, yeah, how long has he got left? Um, he's under a handshake deal. Contract has 28 days remaining. Oh, man. So we've only gone for the next month, and that's it. So we've got to figure out who's going to be our next guy. Now, something I haven't even thought about up until literally just now was for a way for us to find um good wrestlers is the power 500 so what i'm going to do offline is bring in a few of these um so when i do the next episode we might have some hopefully have some really good workers but it depends on any of them if we can get them i'm a bit surprised soraya's number five um so yeah, so this might be a good way of us bringing in wrestlers that will be as good as Mark Andrews or hopefully nearly as good as him. I don't think we'll find many that are as good as him. He's very underrated on here though. He's 210, I think, on the top 500. I'll just quickly show you. Is it 210? Yeah, Mark Andrews, 210. So there's apparently 209 workers better than him. I would love to bring in Tyler Bate, but he's with WWE. So we've got no chance. But anyway... Right, on to the next show. Uh, we've got 146 grand now, so I think what happened is we started a new month, so we've made money. Um, we're still tiny, though. We're 34th in the world, 18 prestige, 68 momentum. Um, but, yeah, right, let's just crack on with the next show. Yeah, so we've got to, for the next 28 days, we've got to figure out well, who's going to take that belt off Mark Andrews and be the next main star of our promotion so it, i don't think it's anybody that's currently on the roster i don't think there's anybody out there on the roster that can match up with it i'm thinking kid like us too if i had to use people from within the roster uh, we've got a backstage incident aerostar was bright in the backstage area simply by being so cheerful and fun to be around that's nice to see all right oh no wrong wrong button there we go all right so i'm going to do um, I think we might just start pushing Levi Moore on the main roster now. So we'll have Levi Moore versus Aerostar. I'll have this as the opening match. We'll have Levi Moore win. Simple as that. That's that. And then we'll do an interview with Levi Moore. Oh, oh, no. I don't know what that is. Neutral. There we go. Uh, microphone and then we'll have Aerostar and we'll just leave Aerostar because he's probably not very good on the mic so we're better not better off not having him on the mic so that'll be that and then um do we do we start do we start the show with i think we better start the show with the match and not the angle so yeah we'll do the angle afterwards where we'll have levi and we'll just run down Aerostar after beating him um what we we'll do is a 10-way women's match because we've got to figure out which women's wrestlers out there are worth keeping. Um, so we'll do female, 
thought you'd already booked. Actually, I don't think we've got 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Oh, yeah, we haven't yet. Right, let's have a look. So I don't think Vipress has wrestled for us yet. Trisha Dora probably has, but hasn't for a while. Tom Matthews, I don't think she has. I don't think Megan Bain has. Ira Holden. A lot of these have either wrestled, but not wrestled for us for a while. I know Gulia. Julia, Julia, I don't know how you pronounce her name. Uh, let's try Bobby Tyler. And then Amal. And then what we'll do is do Ali Cat as well. Oh, there we go, Ali Cat. So this will be a showcase match. See which women wrestlers are worth keeping on here. Now, the women wrestlers aren't rated as well as the men. So I think anything above 50 we'll keep. Anything below 50 we'll probably look to get rid of. Uh, and then we'll look to bring in better women's wrestlers. So that's that one. And then we need to do another match. We've done 43 minutes, so we've got one more match left in us. What we'll do is a normal tag team match as the main event. Two versus two. We'll have the tag champions. Um, which is, I think, POD in it, from what I remember. Are they the tag champions? Uh, I'll have a look in a sec. We'll have them against uh, the Avengers, Calvin Tantman. Ah, we can't have Calvin Tantman, he's injured. That comes as a surprise. I didn't, I don't, I didn't see him getting injured, but yeah, anyway. We'll have the Maroodas then. We'll try the Maroodas, see how they get on. Uh, we'll put the tag titles on the line. Uh, Ashton Smith and Rampage win. Have it as an open match. That's that. Right. And then we just need to do an angle to set up that tag match. So we'll do... Uh, actually, we'll just do a post-match angle where they just fight each other. Because they're both teams that probably would just like fight each other after a match. Um, what's his name? I can't remember what the other guy's name is. Bob or that's it, there you go. Actually no, we'll do this as a we'll do this as a pre-match angle. Uh, we've gone slightly over so we just need to take that down like that. There we go. Let's have a look at the booking analysis first. Trisha Dora, so they don't like the four women's wrestlers that we used and that's that's not good a good omen. Uh, right, there we go, start the show. So, Levi Moore defeated Aerostar, got a 49 rank, which is pretty good for a Levi Moore match. Um, Angle afterwards, got a 36. We just got to keep giving him promo time and hoping he'll get better on the mic. A lot of wrestlers have said that he's a star in the making and we just need to keep pushing him, so that's what we'll do. Uh, the women's match got a 72, which is really good. So, who stood out? So, Trisha Dora needs to go. Um, I need to write these down in a document. Bear with us. You won't see this, but I just need to open up a document. Right. So we're just. I'm just putting the document out here. I'm just gonna so I don't forget wrestlers to get rid of. So Trisha Dora. She's not worth it. Oh, pardon me. Um, Nicole Matthews did well, 64, which was pretty good. We'll keep Megan Bain because um, I feel like she's a star in the making. Kira Home got 67, which is good. Gulia got 72, so at least we know we've got another decent women's wrestler on here. Chardonnay got 66, which is good. Bobby Tyler got an 85. That's really good. We need to push her. She must be like a super worker I've never heard of. Uh, Amal got 57, which isn't too bad. I can't got a 63. I think anything below 40, actually, for the women. I think, yeah. So we'll just get rid of Trisha Dora. Um, but yeah, that's really good. Viper seemed off again. Performance of Bobby Taylor. Yes, yeah, so Bobby Tyler. So we need to push Bobby Tyler a bit more as well. So we've discovered a new star today. So that's good. Or a new good worker. I might, if I've got, if I haven't got many men's really good super workers, I might have to just start putting more women's matches on there. Ginny, Bobby Tyler, Kaylee Ray, all three of them are capable of putting on a really good main event. Uh, the pre-match fighting angle with the tag teams got a 61 rating, and then the tag match got an 80. Oh, that's really good. Mike Bird, 74. Rampage Brown, 78. 
and then the other two 68. So that's really good that they can put on a really good match. So this this is a good match as well that we can do. It's nice that we've got a decent, really good tag team match because we haven't had one for ages. So that's really good. Um, overall, we got a 72 rating. We increased our popularity in one region. We've got 108 people, so not too bad. This end could have been better. Um, slightly less than the last show, and we did a better show this one than the last one, but that's really good. I'm hoping the next show is probably the, the big event, but I think we've got another Afterburn episode to do, so we'll do that, and then we'll do the event for this um, video. I think so it might be slightly longer, but I'm hoping a longer video means it's more entertaining for you. And it might be the big event might be Mark Andrews Swan Song. So we're probably gonna have to figure out by that point who we're gonna have take the title off Mark Andrews. Um I'm also thinking maybe Joseph Connors as a short-term solution until we bring in better workers. I think he'd be a good heel champion for a bit. And we can do that. Maybe maybe thomas billington as well so there's a few options on the plate um while i'm doing it i can figure it out in my head in between each uh show just wait for this to finish up but yeah thank you as always for your support i really appreciate it um keep watching the videos keep spreading the word the more people have watched this the better um but yeah right viewing figures not about the same as usual When's our next show then? Yeah, so we've got another Afterburn episode and then we've got the big pay-per-view hangover. So I'll be back in a minute with the next Afterburn episode. Right, we're back for the next show, uh, next Afterburn show. Um, just to give you a quick update, we've managed to get Afterburn extended for another three months. So at least we know we're still on TV for a bit, so that's good. Um, first match, we'll probably do a tag team title match. Um, and no, not a tag team title match, sorry. We'll just do a tag team match. So we'll just do that. And then what we're going to do is this will be a pre show match. So we'll do the Gates Destiny and we'll have them um, against. Uh, hmm, let me think. Gates Destiny. No. No. Bounty Hunters. No. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I've got Dalton Castle. I need to put him in a match. Calvin Tank is still injured. Pretty deadly, no. Generation next. Uh, we'll put them against Generation next. And we'll have these. I'll have these. Gates of Destiny win. Um, Jack Evans and Matt Sider will not be happy about that. Forgot to change that. They're not bothered, actually. They don't seem that bothered, which is good. Do a post match beat down afterwards as well. So, Khan fighting, Koaloa fighting, Matt Seidel. No. Oh, yeah, Matt Cadone has retired as well. Uh, Matt Hardy has retired as well. And um, so, I think they'll be probably eventually, we'll probably have them as road agents, which is not exactly a bad thing to have. Two very good uh, minds for the business can only be a good thing for the young wrestlers. Oh, for God's sake, I forgot to do that. It's pre show as well. My brain is not working today. Right. So that's the post match beatdown. And then what we'll do is have the first match as a. We'll do a four way singles. And we'll have Levi Moore, uh, Aerostar, Omari, and who else? Akid. So, a couple of high flyers going against Levi Moore. I believe I'm Moore winning. So that's that. And then what we'll do is we'll have tag, another tag team match. A three-way tag team match. And we'll have P.O.D. Page Brown, Ashton Smith. Kip Wilson, Elton Prince, Blue Kane, and Shea Persa. Uh, eventually, I might put the tag titles on 
Kamikaze, Kane, Blue Kane and Shea Persa, but at the moment I just don't feel like they're good enough in the ring. So we'll keep them on the current tag team champions of uh, POD. Um, what we'll do though is we'll put Keep Strong, Blue Kane. Referee cannot be the former. Okay. Yeah, so there you go. Matt Hardy is a road agent now. Um, what we'll do, we'll do an angle with these. So we'll just do microphone angles. So we've got Ashton Smith, microphone, Rampage Brown, microphone, Adam Prince, microphone, Kip Wilson, microphone, Blue Kane, microphone, Shea Purser, microphone. And what we'll do, we'll script them just to be on the safe side. That, like so we'll just put that there right so that's that done um 43 minutes we've still got enough time for the main event so what we'll do is we'll have mark andrews actually no we won't we have three way singles no four way singles five way singles actually let's test out my theory here so we'll have dalton castle calvin tantman if he's ready he might not be ready yet uh, Kid Lycos, Thomas Billington, oh, Thomas Billington, and who else? Have a look. Maybe Chris Saban, I suppose. Maybe Eddie Dennis. This is just trying to give me an indication of who can be the 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 main star, the champion. Uh, Rich Swan, he's another good worker from what I remember. Oh yeah, Calvin Tatman's injured, so who are we going to have replacing Calvin Tatman? Let's have a look down here. Trent Seven maybe, we can see how he gets on. From what I remember, I don't think he was very good in the ring. Paul London maybe. Uh, maybe we aren't. I'll put... I'll put Trent in. Fans will be happy. Do seven, no, we'll do 15. Keep it at 15. And then we'll just leave this up. Right, let's see how we get on. So the opening tag team match got a 62 rating, which isn't too bad considering you've got Gates of Destiny in there. So Matt Seidel was a standout performer. So Matt Seidel could po possibly be Another one we might put the title on if we need to. What we need to do is have three or four guys that we can put the title on in case one person leaves. So we try and have really good main events. Now, don't get me wrong, Matt Seidel is nowhere near as good as Mark Andrews, but he might he can steady the boat until we find someone better. Because we might have to go through a transitional period while, while we wait to try and find somebody better. Um, but yeah, Generation Next 3 are also a good tag team as well, so we could always put them as tag team champions at some point. Uh, Post-match beatdown, got a 40 right in. The four-way match to kick off the show properly, uh, Levi Morgan got a 57. Levi Morgan got a 47 right in. Standard performance was AQ with a 59. Uh, pretty much tag team angle, got a 41 right in. And then the tag team match got 63. How did Blue Kane do? Blue Kane got 47, which is about what he usually gets. But he is getting better. He is progressing. Um, stand up form Rampage Brown. See, Rampage Brown, another one we could probably have in a, as, as a singles run as the champion. So we're getting about four or five, six maybe re, like decent workers that can steady the boat if we need to as champion and focus on them. So that's good. So it's not, it's not as... It's not made me as anxious as it was before when I got the news that Mark Andrews is staying here. But he will, and Mark Andrews will be a big miss. Um, but yeah, here, here you go. Main event. Oh, Thomas Billington won. That's good. 81 uh, rating for the match. Don Castle got a 47. Oh, that's a shame. I thought Don Castle was a bit. I, I could have sworn Don Castle got a really good performance last time. Anyway, Trent Seven got a 60. So again, he's not that good. So here, here's the three that we need to probably concentrate on. Kid Lycos 2, 85. 
Thomas Billington, 84, Rich Swan, 82. Um, personally, I think out of the three of them, um, I'm probably looking at Kid Like Us 2 or Thomas Billington, mostly because they're British. Um, Kid Like Us 2 was part of Fight Club Pro for a while. Thomas Billington is somebody I've pushed as a tag team uh, star and now a single star, so I kind of have a soft spot for him. But we'll see. Um, we'll see how it goes. Increased popularity in one region, got a 72 rating, 108 people, which is basically the standard now what we do on an afterburn taping, but not too bad. We're, we're slowly improving the popularity of us, uh, the TV show, which is always good. So hopefully that'll mean in a few months time when our contract comes to expire, we might be able to get a better TV deal. More exposure, more money, we can bring in better wrestlers. Uh, yeah, but then the main, the main event, the, the, the main, show that we're going to do now the, pro the 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 big event we'll do uh next and then what i'll try and do is try and do the best possible what i'm going to do is probably do one tag team match one women's match and then probably a lot of singles matches with the, the the five or six workers that we've got that are pretty good mark andrews uh in the main event i think what i might do is mark andrews versus thomas billington in the main event um and we'll see how we get on with that Hopefully they'll have a great match and uh, it will help Thomas Billington get over more. So then when Mark Andrews leaves, it's it, it will just transition to Thomas Billington. He won't be as good as Mark Andrews, but he's not going to be rubbish either. But yeah, but yeah, I'm pretty good about Mark Andrews. He was the last super worker that we had really. Um, but we've still got Kid Lycos too, and we've still got Thomas Billington at the moment. But again, because we're such a small promotion, we're eventually going to get all of them. Uh, oh, that's a shame. Bobby Tyler alone to stardom. Uh, right, Dustin Rhodes says, A Kid's charismatic, Kid is a future star. So maybe we'll push A Kid for a bit as well. Uh, yeah. Have a look. Um, right, so our next, yeah, our next show is in four days. So we're back in the set with the last show of the episode. Right, so here we are. We've got the big hangover uh, event. F Fight Club Pro hangover, sorry. Uh, let's do a psycho sermon, see if that'll do anything. Oh, well done. I'm sure you want to give it there was a two month waiting period. Yeah, it's fine. Right, you're doing the psycho sermon. Everyone in the locker room is now going to give their absolute best. They don't want to have to come up and face you that performance. That's good. Right, so let's start, as always, with a. We'll do a. We'll do a six way singles and uh, we'll leave our mule. So we'll do leave our mule, uh, male. Let's put Bobby Fish in there because I don't think he's wrestled uh, yet. Uh, Bryce Keith, I don't think he's wrestled for us yet either. Put Dalton Castle in there. Uh, Griff Garrison, he hasn't wrestled for us yet, so we'll give him a try. I don't think Joe Henry's, I think Joe Henry has actually wrestled for us. Um, oh yeah, Kelly Six is another one we got to we've got to keep an eye on. Uh, Leighton Buzzard hasn't wrestled for us for ages, so we'll put him in there. Um, if you can hear that noise, that's my uh, girlfriend uh, with, the, with the dog They're having playtime, as they call it, where uh, he tries and bites her, and she just plays all cute with him. When he tries and bites me, I just don't I don't put up with it. I tell him off. <laughs> um, but yeah, right. Levi Moore. In there. Okay, that's fine, Dalton Castle, but that's just how it'll be. Uh, we'll just have Levi Muir. Uh, Michael, actually, entertainment. We'll try my entertainment. We'll just have him on his own entertainment after the match. Oh, yeah, I need to do the Gate to Destiny tag team match as well. Actually, no, I won't bother because I need to, after this show, I'm going to look around for more tag teams so we can have tag teams to feed to uh, Gates of Destiny, get them over. Because at the moment, all the tag teams I've got are, are all pretty good and don't really want them to lose. So uh, we haven't done a women's match in all of you, so we'll do a women's six man. Uh, women's six, a six-woman match, sorry, I apologise. Right, so we haven't got many women wrestlers now. I haven't. I forgot to release Trisha Dora, but she will get released after this show. 
Um, so we're going to try and put our best women's workers on this one. Jetta, Julia, Bobby Tyler, uh, Valkyrie. We have 15 minutes. Uh, who's the women's champion at the moment? I can't remember. Ginny. So, women's match. We'll leave it to the AI to decide who to have. So that's that. Um, how long we got? We've got quite a bit of time left. I keep forgetting this is it. I keep thinking this is an afterburner. So, right, so we've done singles match. So now we've got to do the tag title match, I think. So we'll go four way tag team. Actually, can we do five way? No, four way. We've we'll got the tag champions versus Mike Bird. Why can't we? Why is Mike Bird injured? Ah, oh, Mike Bird's injured probably. Have a look. We put. Uh, we could put Gates of Destiny in there actually. Put Gates of Destiny in there. They don't need to win every match. Colons maybe Avengers. He is Calvin Tantman. Ah, oh, we can't do that one. Fortunately, Calvin Tantman is still injured. So Colons. Or Kamikaze. Uh, I don't really want to put Kamikaze in if they're going to lose, if they're going to lose because it's going to devalue their push in it. Actually, no, I will throw him in there. Right, so that's that. This this will be a real test for tag champions to see if they can get have a good match with these lot. Our titles. Uh, we'll have Ashton and Rampage retain them. And what we'll do is we'll do a post match beatdown. So we'll have uh, Tom fighting, and then Tolo Lona fighting, and then we'll have Ashton selling, Rampage selling, and then what we'll probably do at the next Afterburn episode. We'll have um, Gates of Destiny versus POD. Right, so let's have a look at our next match. So now we're going to book some one on one matches. That. Right. Right, Kelly Six, who's a pretty good worker. Um, who do we put in against gender? Um, Let's figure this out. Rich Swan? No, not Rich Swan. And um, Kid Lycos. So, well, Kelly Six versus Kid Lycos 2. They should have a pretty good match. Do is we'll do 17 minutes and we'll do uh, not storytelling. High, high spots? We'll do high spots. And what we'll do, we'll do an interview with Kelly Six and Kid Lycos before the match, if it lets me. Microphone and then kid my cross. Right, there we go. Uh, we'll script both of these just to be on the safe side. Right, so next match we do is mm, let's have a think. So A star maybe? No, not A star. Um Ring of Lopez. Uh, there isn't really anybody standing out super well because obviously we've got Mark Andrews. Mark Andrews and Thomas Billington is going to be the main event. I think I just need maybe Rich Swan. Who was the free workers last time? It was Rich Swan was one of them. So we'll put Rich Swan. And then who can he go against? Matt Sider. That'll do nicely. Right, so that's that. Uh, we'll have Rich Swan win that one. Do storytelling. Matt side, I was furious. Okay, fair enough. What we'll do, we'll get rid of Rich Swan as the victor, because I'm not too bothered who wins that. 
Okay, so we've done 115 minutes. We've got plenty of time left. So what we'll do, we'll do an angle with Thomas Billington and Mark Andrews. So, uh, no. Right. And then main event, we'll go 20 minutes. Uh, Mark Andrews, Thomas Billington. Right. And then we'll have Mike Good Pro title on the line. And I'm going to leave it blank. I'm going to let the AI decide it. We'll do steal the show. Uh, all that match. Yep. All right. So it will be a surprise to Ibrus. I'm happy with Ibrus on. We've still got Mark Andrews for a bit. Worst comes to worst, if he leaves, the top become vacant. We'll we'll do like a a, a match with our best workers and we'll let the AI figure out who's going to win or I might just give it to Thomas Billington but we'll see maybe Thomas Billington will beat Mark Andrews in that match uh, right so we're alright here we're not going to get persecuted so we'll put them on our sis first Don, Castle, Don Castle's unhappy Leighton Buzzard's unhappy uh, and then Bryce keeps being used too much but I don't know right let's start the show right so Levi Moore won got 65 rank in Who's the best workers? Levi Moore got a 54, which is really good. Um, I think that's better than what he's done before, so that's really good. Griff Garrison got a 56, which is surprising. And then Le Leighton Buzzard. See, Leighton Buzzard, another one who completely forget about all the time, who could be a standout performer for us. But yeah, Leighton Buzzard is another one. So we've got Calvin Tankman, Leighton Buzzard, Matt Seidel, Thomas Billington, Kid Lycos to might be forgetting somebody else, but at least we've got some good workers now. We can build the promotion around while Mark Andrews is gone. Uh, yeah, so Levi Newell, the angle with him, got a 44 right here. Um, and then the women's match, in an exceptional match, got 82 right in. Uh, Kaylee Ray wins the women's title. Uh, Ginny had an 85, Kaylee Ray had an 85, Jetta had a 79, Gooley had a 74, Bobby Todd had an 84, and Valkyrie had a 74. So these are our six best women's workers, basically. So that's good to know. We've got one, two, three women's wrestlers that can get an 80 in-ring performance. So we can put these two, these three in a match with, uh, with some of these, and they'll probably have a really good match each time. But yeah, 82 rating. Ginny loses the title, but that's fine. Uh, we're not really focusing on the women's title that much, so it doesn't matter. As far as I'm concerned, it doesn't matter who wins. Uh, POD retained the tag titles. Uh, process elimination was pretty deadly first, then we get to Destiny, and then finally Kamikaze. So that's good. At least Kamikaze got to the, the last bit. I didn't even realise that this was a, a fatal... Is it a fatal four-way where you get eliminations and one after the other? No. Is it fatal four-way? Oh, I don't know. No, fatal four-way is one four, isn't it? Um... I can't remember what it's called. Let me know in the comment section. I can't remember what it's called. ECW used to do them all the time. Freeway dance, they used to call it, didn't they? But this is obviously a four tag team match. Uh, let's see who was. Rampage Brown, 79. So he's, he's another one we can have in there in the mix. Uh, Ashton Smith, 75. Kit Wilson, 73. He's Elton Prince, 72. So they're getting better as a tag team as well. Uh, Tang Tobolo, unfortunately, not very good in the ring. Khan. Okay, I suppose Shea Person not very good and Kane Blue Kane 46, so not too bad for him. Uh, Elton Prince is saying a bruised eye socket, ouch, that sounds painful. Angle afterwards got a 48, which is good. Sets up there, them to them two tag teams to have a match in the next afterburn show. Uh, the angle with Kelly Six and Kid Like Us 2 got a 53 right in. Then the match between Kelly Six and Kid Lycos ended in the pin for all, um, with Kid, uh, Kelly Six being the winner. Only got a 73 rating. So Kelly, uh, they don't really click in the ring. That's a shame because these two usually are 80 performers, uh, 80 plus match rating performers. So they just don't click, which is a shame. But still 73, which ain't too bad. Uh, in an exceptional match, Matt Seidel beat Rich Swan for the shoot star press. 78 rating for Matt, uh, Rich Swan, 68 for Matt Seidel, and 
they have great chemistry as well, so that's good. I've got an 82 rating. Uh, the angle with, oh, that's good. The angle with Mark Andrews and Thomas Billington got an 81 rating. Um, Sentiment deserved better colour commentator. And Mark Andrews retained the title with Drunk Suplex, and he makes, oh my God, a 90 rating. I don't think we've had a 90 rating before. I could be wrong. I think that's the best match we've ever done. In ring wise, Mark Andrews makes defense number 10. Mark Andrews got a 92. Thomas Billington got an 80. Um, probably would have done better if we had better color commentators. So maybe if I re if I do this match again, I might change the color commentator, but we'll see. But overall, we improved increased the popularity in 56 regions. We got an 84 rating, which was amazing, and we've got our biggest crowd yet, 217. I don't think we've done a bigger crowd than that. So I just need to some uh yeah some basically some praise uh Ginny yeah happy please please there you go uh, I wish I could keep Mark Andrew even if I could just keep him for a couple of months just to give me some time to figure out who's gonna take over from him um, help him put other wrestlers over, improve them as wrestlers in the ring. But these things happen. So, yeah, like I said, offline, what I'm going to do is over the weekend before I do the next episode, I'm going to have a look at that top 500, bring in some wrestlers. Uh, I'm not going to go completely crazy because I don't want to do what I did last time and just have a massive roster again. I'm going to be really selective in who I bring in, but hopefully I'll bring in some good wrestlers can have some good performances but yeah moving forward we've got some good performers Matt Seidel Rich Swan they had a really good match together um, Caddy Six Kid Lycos 2 they didn't gel together but they gel against other wrestlers um, Thomas Billington Rampage Brown Ashton Smith Elton Prince Kit Wilson some decent performers really uh, we've got a couple of injuries let's have a look at that before I go uh, yeah so not out for long um, but yeah, 46 in, in depth, but that's just how it is sometimes with these things. So yeah, um, let me just go back here. Let me just, oh, uh, there we go. Yeah, but, um, hold on. So sorry. There we go. Right. Yeah. Thank you as always. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Um, next episode should be good as well because I'll have a bit of an indication about who's going to replace Mark Andrews, who we're going to bring in and we'll try and obviously as always do better shows get better match ratings but like i said mark andrews thomas binton's probably the best match we've ever had i'll have a look in the next episode which is the best matches we've had just to make sure i'm right on that one but yeah thank you for watching leave a comment if you want i would always appreciate comments whether it's good or bad i can figure and then it helps me figure out what's working what's not working thank you to the people who are commenting and rank commentate thank you to the people who are commenting regularly I I really appreciate it um, and enjoy the rest of your weekend and I'll be back tomorrow with another episode and then like I said next week onwards it'll be spaced out better so we'll have TW on Wednesday and TW on Saturday so yeah anyway all the best speak to you soon